this is how it's all going. Um, I've still got uh, things like this was the um, the injector, or I don't even know what it is. It's I, th I think it's a water pump. I was told it's an injector pump to replace the water in the boiler, which is used by the steam, so it's basically forever running. Although I'm never going to need it because I only run it for 15, maybe 20 minutes at a time. But anyway, it's authentic. It came off it. It was there. So, um, the plumbing's done. So that's permanent. This is all bolted down. That's permanent. Cheers, Jeff, for the bolts. <laughs> they worked a treat. Um, so it's, it's all done. I have still got play in the main bearing, although it sounds bad it isn't. Um, this is also the concentric and the piston that came off the pump, which went into there. But as you can see, I don't think it's all there. Now, that is rather loose in there. But I don't exactly know how this thing works. There is a ball bearing which goes in the top, which I'm not putting in because I haven't cleaned it yet. If anyone can send me a link to a photo of the, this particular thing or, or, or something like this of how they work, it'll tell me if there's anything missing. Obviously that fits on there. And then that goes there. And that goes into there, and that is that is exactly how I had it. It wasn't, you know, it wasn't working. Obviously, we've got this. Would that be the output, or would that be the input? And I don't know if anything's supposed to be. I don't know with this if anything's missing. It looks like something must have gone on the top. Anyway, if anyone can explain. <laughs> explain this I'd be more than happy if you actually could because I want to get it working fitted and working but I don't know if I can yet so this is how it's going it's not going to be it is going to be pine because this is a shelf which is what I've got but I'm actually going to cover it in um, mahogany I just noticed that's not straight I didn't put it straight what a dickhead. I need to put these things to one side because I've got other things that I've got to get done. Um, obviously the only things I can do is what's sitting down, but you know. Oh, this, this thing here is the drain port. It's on the blow down valve, it shows I can drain the tank after I've used it. Also, I've fitted a new pressure relief valve. This one is much better. Basically you take that off, you set your pressure and then you screw that on and you lock it down. Uh, this one leaks. That one's the same price. So I wish I'd have bought that in the first place to be honest. It, it looks better. The 1895 one that I've got is going to be put on the back burner for the, for the time being. I've got to work on the app and I've, I've got to get more exercise. Well, for the time being, this is as far as I'm going to go with it. Uh, I've got other things I've got to get done. Um, things to review and stuff. I've got that DL24P or whatever it is, the new version with the four wires. I've got to, got to review that. Much better than the old one. Uh, battery discharger, by the way. Anyway, this is my final version. Uh, I've still got a few things that I've got to get made. Uh, I've got to make a tank here for all the steam to catch in which is going to be made of brass or is it copper? Copper. Um, I'm not plumbing this into the main funnel chimney flue, that was the one. <laughs> I'm not plumbing it into that purely because I don't want water dripping down the back 
because it will just cock it all up, it will make a mess and so this is how it's going to be uh, with just a tank here to catch the steam, that's all. Uh, everything else is working, the blowdown valve works, here's the, the drain pipe for the blowdown valve. Uh, the tank is slightly tilted forwards so as I can get all of the water out when I've done a run to prevent don't know. <laughs> I just thought it was good. It's only very slightly pointing forward. Anyway, uh, the base or the mountains that I've done, they're the best I can get them with a hammer and a vice. Uh, that's it. So that works. Nothing moves. It's completely solid. The plumbing's been done. Um, it's lovely and free. This is so free. It's ridiculously free. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to fire it up and run it. Um, probably only going to run it once and then it can sit and look pretty until my uh, copper, I think it's copper. No, it's brass plate I've got I think uh, coming that I can make me tank to sit here to catch all the steam and everything. This is just, um, what do they call it, veneer? Mahogany veneer which has been stained, uh, well not stained, it's been covered a couple of times. It's had a couple of coats of polyurethane varnish. So it's done. The only thing I'm not 100% happy with is this because it's green. That's matte black. I don't know what to do but that's authentic. So I might leave it like that. I don't know if you can see it. If I can try not to burn my hands on here. Focus, please focus. Ow, you f Right, hopefully you can see that that is just off the stop point. Probably not, can you? Anyway, just about 10 psi in there, that's all it needs. So, sorry about the cup with a T on it, because that's me. Uh, I'm going to open it up. A bit of hydraulic going on, but it's all right. The knocking you can hear is the main bearing. Um, I don't know if I can show you actually. And we also have a leak on the piston. So that's running now on nothing, absolutely nothing. Now I can open it up. piston which is probably just the what's it not needs doing up more and um, as you can see it's all collecting in there so I've got that to do I've also got the main bearings which I've got to resize again um, now they're worn in a bit they are rather sloppy but apart from that that pressure relief valve set to about 10 psi that's all and as you can see or well, you probably can't see where's my torch There's nothing actually showing on that gauge now. But I know it's correct because I've had an air pressure um, thing on the top 
with my pump when it was full of water, so I know it works. It runs. That noise leads me to believe that the valve isn't seated properly. I don't know why, but it's just a hunch that the valve isn't seated properly. Now, I seem to remember with this one that the valve, um, what do they call it now? The valve thing, the slide, the slide valve, that was it. The slide valve isn't a very good fit in there and it only just covered the holes. So I'm gonna have to rip it apart and have a look at that to see if that's what's causing the problem because this may have been exactly how it ran from when it was made. So I've got to have a look at it.